software side? Uh, yeah. Um, because I noticed that when I got my webcam on my laptop, it works with Skype, but it does not work with some really, with some older Linux webcam programs, and what it does work with is, as far as I know, the most popular one, Cheats. It works fine with that. It doesn't work with anything else. It doesn't work with, at least, I've, I've tried like five others, so I can't say anything else, but of what I've tried, it doesn't work with, you know, these other webcam programs that I've seen in the repositories. It only works with Cheats, so... Yeah, you know, I'm wondering if you're having the same problem there I'm having with my ham prong tuner cards. Uh, in, in that, um, I have ham prong tuner cards. For those of you who don't know what they are, they're the, they're the Win TV tuner cards. Ham prongs who makes them, but they're very good cards. They do they do hardware encoding. I mean, they're low def, but they re-encode things uh, hardware on the card into MPEG two, uh, which is good. However. Certain applications will not work with them because they they the MPEG2 uh, encode uh, the ability to decode MPEG2 was not incorporated into that. Therefore, it can't record the output from them because like it, it, they work perfectly with Myth TV. They won't work with Caden Live because Caden Live wants the video feed to be raw. Uh, it, it's and I think that's the software thing. It, it almost makes me wonder if you have a webcam that's doing for some type of compression that cheese is recognizing but the others aren't that maybe you don't know about are are re-rendering or something and it's not a pure raw feed it, it when you do that at least to infinitely better quality but you have to know to decrypt the thing mm -hmm. uh, have you had any experience with that Jordan you're like looking real you're thinking real inquisitively yeah. about this <laughs> Well, the, the, as far as I understand, the uh, the majority of the webcams are dealt with by the uh, the V4L one or two driver, and they just it, it flat out blanket hits most webcams. Uh, so if it works in cheese, in theory, it should work in most everything else. Well, it doesn't. But it doesn't, right? <laughs> um, in theory, many things are possible. Exactly. <laughs> uh, speaking of what, James, have you actually tried uh, GVC view with it? Mm -hmm. Have you tried GUVC view with it? I have not. Uh, oh, I've tried. Yeah, you, know, you know what? I don't have a list, but it was I was on Ubuntu and or Ubuntu or whatever. But um, I was on. I was in the. You know, I was looking at webcam, and the first five programs that I've tried, you know, it was the official Ubuntu software store programs. First five that I tried didn't work with my webcam. And then I yeah. tried cheese and it worked. So you just stuck with cheese. <laughs> so I just stuck with cheese because I mean, in all honesty, of the five, cheese looked the best anyway. You know, I'm glad that I, I found that because I mean, cheese is pretty good. I like it. Okay. It does everything that I need. Uh, and well, it, it's the, that is one of the weird things about Linux. I, I know this is, a, 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 it's like Linux is so small and insignificant that you wouldn't think there's bad Linux software, but, um, oh, it's like, it's like, it's like there's plenty of bad Linux software. It's like, yeah. <laughs> or, or, it's not necessarily bad, it's just, uh, it's written to, to fill a niche. It, somebody wanted this specifically, and so it's written for one specific person, not for everybody. That's what comes to be the problem with a lot of distros. This is my distro, I like it this way, so this is the way it's going to be, but not everybody's going to like it that way. I mean, that's why there are so many Ubuntu derivatives. Well, and at the end of the day, I actually think that's one of Linux's big strengths, to be quite honest. And that, at the, at the honestly, someday in the future, if Linux ever gets the full industry support it needs, the breakup of the user base I see being, you know, Apple will still be around five to eight percent. Apple's going to always have their cult following. That's <laughs> The one I see losing in this isn't Apple; it's it's Windows. I see Windows falling to below fifty percent, and the uh, uh, and Linux. And uh, basically, all the various flavors of Linux filling the sun, and 
no two people will agree with which one's best, but they'll say this one's best for me. <laughs> what do you mean you see Windows falling to fifty in what market and desktop? Uh, it, well, as uh, it, it's conceivable, a couple of things need to happen. But yeah, it's, yeah it's, 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 it seems like such you know a kind of dream thing. I'm mean, when you know when do you think that would you know. Well, at the rate Windows is deteriorating, probably 50... Is it, is it really that low? I mean, I think that... Isn't Windows, like, at 89% or something? Uh, what what? It, 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 depending which demographic you look at, Windows is somewhere between 85% and 95%. Uh, like I said, it depends what, which one you look at. Uh, it's, so, it's not that low. The, the Linux, I mean, is still... And pretty much always, I mean, this, what I've heard from people has always been around that 1% mark. It was actually at 1.3 something percent mark when Windows has that big fiasco with Vista, but it's still always been around 1%. What makes you think that's going to break, you know, even the 2% barrier? Uh, well, A, because in the, it's Linux has been breaking the 2% barrier in a lot of official counts for the past three years. Uh, rather, rather reliably, and B, uh, yes, uh, and uh, B, uh, Linux has been uh, is, and, and even Microsoft acknowledges this. Bomber has gotten on stage three times and admitted that, by its estimate, Linux's market share is probably double, triple, if not quadruple, what it's being counted as because of the fact that there's a lot of Linux systems pretending to be Windows systems to make other things happy in the same way Mac systems used to have to do that but don't have to anymore. There was like an overnight jump in how large OS X was when the industry finally got it through its head maybe it should cater some to OS X and then all of a sudden people weren't pretending to be Windows on OS X machines <laughs> and OS X just like exponentially grew overnight. It didn't exponentially grow overnight, it just started finally being counted. Um, and that's one of the things going on. It's uh, really, at, for all intents and purposes, right now, Linux is about where OS X was in the early aughts. Uh, and it's having the exact same problems OS X was in the early aughts. Uh, the difference is Linux is not one operating system. Linux is a plethora of operating systems. And what, I, I, and what I see is I see realistically once these hurdles get straightened out and you get the rest of the industry thing straightened out and you convince some key players either through bribes or so on or just sheer, okay, it's in your best interest, to embrace Linux in the same way they finally got it through their head that they should not be against OS X, it's conceivable that your more popular distros like one of the flavors of Ubuntu, if not two or three, and the other uh, main flavors of Linux, one of which I'd like to hope would be PC Linux, but it may not be, but it's not inconceivable to see each one of those strong flavors getting the same kind of market share OS X did because each one of them has their same kind of cult following. So collectively... I have a question for you. Okay. Um, so, okay, first I'm going to ask another question and then I'm going to follow it up after that. When I think that for Linux to really ever be considered a true, you know, competitor to the to Mac and Linux, uh, to Mac and Windows, it has to be really sold. I have to be able to go to Fry's or go to some you know big computer company where people go to buy laptops, and I have to be able to not necessarily buy, but I just have to be able to just use a Linux machine and just try it out. You know, uh, because yep. if I have to go and ask, you know, even if they sell it, is one thing. Because a lot of them don't do that, you know, if I have to go and just, if the most I can do is just go to them and ask them if I can get this with Linux on it, it's not going to work. They have to have them out and displayed for people to try. When do you think that would happen? Um, conceivably sometime this decade. 
and I say that because there's uh, th it, there's strong hintings that Ubuntu is trying to figure out a good match for that, uh, and there's a couple of other distros that might be doing it, uh, and it's uh, surprisingly, unfortunately, I think where you're going to see it first is in Wally World. I don't think you're going to see it in Best Buy, but it showing up in Wally World first isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, uh, especially uh, if it's so because uh, one of the things Linux is very good at is making a POS seem less like a POS. <laughs> um, and where best to find a POS? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so if you're in Walmart and that's the computers you've been buying for years and the people who buy computers at Walmart for some reason keep buying computers at Walmart, you'll try the Linux machine and it'll be sitting there next to the Windows POS and just because Linux is so much better at making use of a POS, it will seem faster, <laughs> which would be in instant good PR for Linux. Um, and, and yeah, it's, but yeah, I, I agree with you. OEM retail support is one of the two or three things that needs to happen for, for this to happen. But when that happens, it, it's like somebody's going to do it first, and then as soon as somebody does it first successfully, y there's going to be three, if not five, instant copycats. Yeah, but I, the <laughs> thing is, you know, just like with Android, they can't just... Just, you know, nudge in. Okay, we'll just show a little bit of Linux out in the corner of our store. You know, with Android, they have to kind of take a chance and really go really yeah. go into that for it to work. You know, it's... Uh, I, well, it's uh, honestly, it, it's it, it, it's going to happen. It, it, it's what, what has to happen here is, so, is somebody needs to convince, like you said, some OEM to go gung-ho to go, we are going to follow this through to its natural conclusion, whatever that is, not switch tracks midstream just because we hit a bump in the road, because there'll be plenty of bumps in the road. Uh, and it's like, and it, it, it's going to happen. Whether or not it happens this decade or it takes this century, but it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, it, it's, and, you know, we've been living in a... We, we've been living in the this is the decade of Linux for the last... 20 years, if not... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so... But it's, it's, you know, it's... What I, one of the things I've been thinking is we don't have an unlimited time for Linux to succeed because binary computers aren't going to keep improving for an unlimited time and we're going to start moving on to quantum computers and stuff like that and new operating systems are going to come out. We... You know, as far as the last thing, the last time I heard Moore's Law is supposed to break down in 2028. So if it, if we really don't get close to, if it really doesn't start, uh, if Linux doesn't start becoming really popular close to then, and the thing is, even though binary computers might, we might start switching to quantum computers, if Linux is the predominant OS, I think that the kind of ideals of Linux will pass on to the operating systems that are made for the next generation of computers that don't run on you know, ones and zeros anymore. Um, or and if it if the thing if the op, the primary operating system when we make the switch is proprietary, or like Apple, that's going to reflect on the next generation too. Um, at least that's that's possible. So I would like to see Linux get popular. And I'm just saying that it doesn't have an unlimited time frame to do that. It certainly doesn't have a whole century. No, it doesn't. You're you're right. It doesn't have a century to do that. However, um, honestly, it's going to depend what the mindset of the thing. 